Redmi Note 7 for smartphone has 6.3 inches IPS LCD touch screen display with 81.4 screen to body ratio and aspect ratio of 19.5 by 9. This smartphone has rear mounted fingerprint sensor with an image density of 409 ppi and also have Gorilla Glass 5 protection. This smartphone is powered by Octa-Core Qualcomm Snapdragon 675 11nm processor and packs with 4GB and 6GB of RAM. Redmi Note 7 Pro on the back has dual camera setup that includes 48 megapixel main shooter with 1.8 aperture and the second one is 5 megapixel depth sensor with 2.4 aperture. On the front, the smartphone has 13 megapixel fixed focus camera for selfies with 2.0 aperture and having a feature of HDR. It runs Android 9.0 Pi that is upgradable to Android 10 and packs 64 and 128 GB of inbuilt storage. That can be expanded by a micro SD card up to 256 GB that uses shared SIM slot. This device is powered by 4000 mAh battery with 18W of fast battery charging as well as 4.0 quick charge. Mi A3 smartphone has 6.01 inch Super AMOLED touch screen display with 80.3 screen to body ratio and aspect ratio of 19.5 by 9. It has a protection of Gorilla Glass 5 on front as well as on back side. It has in display fingerprint sensor with an image density of 286 ppi. This smartphone has an octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 11nm processor and packed with 4GB and 6GB of RAM. Mi A3 on the back has triple camera setup that consists on 48MP main shooter with 1.8 aperture and the second one is 13mm 8MP ultrawide sensor with 2.2 aperture and the third one is 2MP depth sensor with 2.4 aperture. On the front, the smartphone has 32MP fixed focus camera with 2.0 aperture. It runs Android 9.0 Pi and packs 64 and 128 GB of inbuilt storage that can be expanded by a micro SD card up to 256 GB that uses shared SIM slot. This device is powered by 4030 mAh battery with 18 watt of fast battery charging as well as 3.0 quick charge. <laughs> the Redmi lineup has been one of the most sought after budget smartphone for year now. But with competition heating up in segments, Xiaomi needs to set up its game to stay relevant. The Redmi Note 8 Pro is an attempt to do that and has a lot of offer for the price, delivering new hardware and a set of much needed features. Redmi Note 8 Pro smartphone has 6.53 inches IPS LCD capacitive type display with 84.9% screen to body ratio and aspect ratio 19.5 by 9. You can adjust the display to make it cooler or warmer and there is also cooler wheel for the adjustments according to the needs of the user. This smartphone has a protection of Gorilla Glass 5 on front as well as on the 4 side 3D card back. It has rear mounted fingerprint sensor with an image density of 395 ppi. Redmi Note 8 Pro is powered by MediaTek Helio G90T processor and comes with a dedicated cooling mechanism and turbo mode for gaming that packed with 6GB and 8GB of RAM. Xiaomi claimed the Helio G90T chipset has resolved the heating issues. In fact, a recent teardown relieved that the Redmi Note 8 Pro has an outclass heating management system. That good news for mid-range gamers. The Note 8 Pro has a liquid cooler vapor chamber for heating the special notice the chassis is getting warm to the notch. Combine this with a hyper engine game which switch to a combination of Wi-Fi and cellular data if your Wi-Fi signal gets weak optimization. In game testing, the Note 8 Pro slightly outperformed the Redmi K20, which runs the Snapdragon 730 mobile platform. Redmi Note 8 Pro smartphone has quad camera setup on the rear that consists of 26mm wide 64MP main shooter with 1.9 aperture. Redmi Note 8 Pro is one of the first devices to incorporate the brand new 64MP sensor from Samsung with native pixel binding technology. We are expecting good low light performance and competent night mode to complement the overall camera performance. Video recording goes up to 4K 30 frame per second or 1080 pixel 60 frame per second with the main rear camera. And you can also get up 960 frames per second as 720 pixel for super slow motion clips. And the super slow motion of Redmi Note 8 Pro is excellent within this range of smartphone. And the second one is 13mm 8MP ultra wide sensor with 2.2 aperture. And third one is 2MP dedicated macro camera with 2.4 aperture. And fourth one is 2MP depth sensor with 2.4 aperture. Macro camera lens can focus from as close as 4 cm away. The distance you can shoot in macro mode will always differ from the actual distance of your smartphone. On the front, this smartphone has 20 megapixel fixed focus camera with 2.0 aperture. It runs Oxygen OS 6 based on Android 9.0 Pi and that is updatable to Android 10 and packed with 64 and 128 GB of inbuilt storage. 
that can be expanded by a micro SD card up to 256 GB with dedicated SD card slot. Redmi Note 8 Pro smartphone is powered by 4500 mAh battery with 18W fast battery charging support. Pocophone F1 smartphone has 6.18 IPS LCD capacitive touch edge to edge display, which is not unbreakable due to EDL mode being protected. It has 82.2 screen to body ratio and aspect ratio of 18.7 by 9, with mounting fingerprint sensor and image density of 403 ppi. This smartphone is powered by octa core Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 10nm processor and packs with 6GB and 8GB of RAM. Pocophone F1 on the back has dual camera setup that includes 12 megapixel main shooter with 1.9 aperture and the second one is 5 megapixel depth sensor with 2.0 aperture. This smartphone has 20 megapixel camera on the front for selfies with 2.0 aperture. It runs Android 8.1 Oreo that is upgradable to 9.0 Pi and packs 64, 128 and 256 GB of inbuilt storage. It can be expanded by a micro SD card up to 256 GB that uses shared SIM slot. This device is powered by a 4000 mAh battery with 18W of fast battery charging as well as 3.0 quick charge. Pocophone X2 smartphone is not a successor of Pocophone F1. It's a new series smartphone by Xiaomi. Pocophone X2 smartphone has 6.67 inches IPS LCD 120Hz punch hole display with 88.8% .8 screen to body ratio and aspect ratio of 20 by 9. It is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 5 on front as well as on the back side of the smartphone with aluminum frame body. It has side mounted fingerprint sensor with an image density of 386 ppi. Pocophone X2 smartphone is based on 1.8 to 2.2 GHz octa core Snapdragon 730G 8nm processor with Adreno 618 GPU and packed with 6GB and 8GB of RAM. Pocophone X2 smartphone has quad camera setup on the rear that consists of 26mm wide 64MP main shooter with 1.9 aperture and 0.8 micron pixel size. The main camera provides the feature of autofocus, optical image stabilization, face detection autofocus, 4K and slow motion video recording. It records slow motion video at the rate of 960 frames per second in HD and HD plus resolutions. And the second one is 13mm 8MP ultra-wide sensor with 2.2 aperture and 1.12 micron pixel size. And the third one is 2MP dedicated macro camera with 2.4 aperture and 1.75 micron pixel size. The fourth one is 2MP depth sensor with 2.4 aperture. On the front, the smartphone has dual camera setup for selfies. The first one is 27mm wide 20MP camera with 2.2 aperture and the second one is 2MP depth sensor with 2.2 aperture. It runs Mi UI 11 based on Android 10 and packed with 64, 128 and 256 GB of inbuilt storage that can be expanded by micro SDX card using shared SIM slot. The SDXC card has the same dimension of SD and SDIC card but is only operated with SDXC devices. Pocophone X2 smartphone is powered by 4500 mAh battery with 27W of fast battery charging that can be charged 100% in 68 minutes.